Hey, this is Travis. We're going to go over BitTensor subnet number 85, Video, a video processing subnet. And of course, before we start, none of this is financial advice and stick around until the end to get my personal thoughts on the subnet. Videos account for 80% of global internet traffic, requiring immense storage and bandwidth. So videos need to be processed before they reach viewers. Video aims to reduce costs for content creators and video platforms by providing AI-powered video processing on BitTensor. So how does it work? Miners are the video processors. They can use whatever tools they want to process videos. Right now, the subnet is focused on upscaling. Upscaling is when you take a poor quality video and increase its resolution, enhancing its quality. Some use cases here would include remastering old movies or enhancing video streaming content to provide a better experience for viewers. You can upload a video to their tool and they'll upscale your video. Now under the hood, what's actually happening is the site is connected with a BitTensor validator. The validator passes your request onto miners, then relays the best miners response video back to you. But how do we know which miner's response was the best? Let's dig into the incentive mechanism or how miners are rewarded. At the time of this video, videos processed by miners are rewarded based on the following. First, obviously their video must not be corrupted and must be the same length as the input video. And then there's a metric for evaluating the perceptual quality of images. It's called the PIAP score. The video's PIAP is calculated and then miners must meet the minimum threshold or they're given a score of zero. There's another metric developed by Netflix to evaluate the perceptual quality of processed videos called VMAF, and miners must meet the minimum threshold there as well or they're given a score of zero. Now each video is given a score using the Pi app and VMAF scores. Now each miner is rewarded based on the average of their videos score with a little bit more weight given to their most recent videos. And then of course, these incentives are constantly being updated and refined with the goal of having miners produce the most valuable result. The subnet owner can add new incentives as well. Also keep in mind that this is one of the many products that the subnet is aiming to produce. Each product will have their own unique incentive mechanism. So video processing miners from anywhere and everywhere in the world compete to achieve the highest quality video processing. The miners that meet the incentive mechanism the best are rewarded the most. Once they get the incentive mechanism polished, the competition between miners means that video can provide a service that is high quality. The output is also ever improving as miners who stay ahead of the curb with new technology are rewarded for their improvements. Video is a service that could easily attract big names in the video streaming space. Enterprise clients that want access to the high quality and cost saving attributes that BitTensor is optimized to deliver. At the time of this recording, top miners on the subnet are making approximately 200 USD per day from emissions, or 15 subnet 85 alpha. Of course, this will fluctuate. Currently, miners are recommended to have an RTX 4090 or better, and they will need to develop expertise in video processing. I could imagine more skills will start to be required as the subnet matures and starts to process more than just upscaling. Video has a very ambitious roadmap. They've just launched and they're focused on upscaling. Next, they're looking at compression, that is maintaining perceptual video quality while reducing bandwidth usage. Now there's an emphasis on perceptual video quality. This means that they aren't just compressing video via regular math compression methods. They can compress videos further than regular compression methods by using AI to detect which parts of videos are the most important to preserve and which parts can be compressed further as they don't affect a human's perception of video quality. Of course, video's compression will work using a similar methodology to upscaling, where miners compete to determine the most optimal compression methods to use. And then they'll develop an API for enterprise platforms to plug into. I'm sure movie streaming platforms or live streaming platforms would love to get their hands on the top tier video compression that video can deliver via the competitive mining structure. And then transcoding, which is when a miner would take a video of one format and convert it to another. And then the last thing on their current roadmap is live streaming through the subnet. That's wild to me. 
You can take a look at their GitHub for the full roadmap, the link is in the description. Interestingly, their go-to-market strategy includes a focus on African platforms, where they have expertise and existing relationships. We'll just highlight some members of the team here. We've got Gareth. Gareth leads the subnet, drawing on his decades of experience in the video industry. And then Marcus, aka Mog Machine, is an absolute veteran of the BitTensor space. He founded TauStats and Corsell, and now he's an investor in Video and is an advisor for the subnet as well. You can view the full team in the link in the description. Now, as for my personal thoughts, this is a very new, unproven subnet. But all the goals on the roadmap do seem achievable with today's technology. And with Mog's guidance, the subnet has a really good chance of making it. If you'd like to help the subnet as a miner or leverage the subnet as a customer, you can visit their Discord or GitHub, links in the description. I'm not sure they're ready to take on customers at this point, as they're still developing their product line. And if you're completely new to BitTensor, feel free to watch the playlist in the description that will help you get up to speed very quickly.